welcome to the ACC channel. Today I will talk to you about the nuclear stress test and how this test is performed. The nuclear stress test is used commonly to diagnose coronary heart disease. It can also look at the shape and size of the heart and guide the management of heart disease. The nuclear stress test measures the flow of blood in the heart at rest and during stress. The nuclear stress test will help your doctor identify areas of scar tissue in the heart muscle and also identify areas of the heart that are not getting adequate blood flow. You will be given some instructions before this test. This would include not using any caffeine or caffeinated beverages for at least 24 hours before the test. We would also like you to refrain from eating, drinking, or smoking for at least two hours prior to the test. If you do have lung disease and have an inhaler, please bring the inhaler along to your appointment. A nuclear stress test will generally last for about three to five hours. A nurse will take you back to the stress laboratory and an intravenous line will be placed in your hand or arm. A small amount of a radioactive substance will then be injected into the body. The nurse will then place electrodes on the chest and these electrodes are then connected to wires which hook up into a stress machine. You will be brought back to the stress lab and you will either exercise on a treadmill or on a bike to the limits of your ability. If you have any chest pain or shortness of breath or dizziness or there is a change in your rhythm or blood pressure, the test will be immediately stopped at that time. At the peak of exercise, we will inject another small quantity of the radioactive substance. We will take pictures of the circulation of your heart with the nuclear camera, both at rest and at the peak of exercise. The doctor will then compare the images obtained from the camera to look at the circulation of the heart and the pumping efficiency of the heart. When the images are processed, the doctor will review the pictures with you. He will discuss with you your exercise distance, the pumping efficiency of the heart, whether you had any symptoms and any changes on the electrocardiogram during your exercise stress. Based on the results of the stress test, the doctor may recommend either continued medical therapy or a cardiac catheterization procedure to look at the heart blood vessels with x-ray dye into the heart and make some further measurements that will guide your treatment. If you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe and like this video. If you want to learn more about nuclear stress tests, please leave a comment and I will be glad to answer your questions.